There's all sorts of stuff to loot over here. Actually, I might take that repair hammer. You never know if you need to repair stuff. There's a bowl? There's a couple bowls. Who's Halder? Oh, we dwarves at a kingdom, and we will have it back. I won't always be sweeping, I'll be riding horseback. <laughs> we dwarves at a kingdom, and a proud knight was I. I won't always be sweeping, for my kingdom I'll die. Good. For great performance. Yeah, he's got everything I would expect him to have. Okay. <laughs> well, okay then. I guess I'm not trading with him. <clears throat> Let's go check down here, shall we? Because this looks like a bit of an area with stuff. Well, actually... There ain't nothing down there other than the shells. So I'm going to avoid that. There's a trader here. There's quite a few dwarves. More dwarves than I would be expecting. My word, but you do look exhausted. I bet you could use a touch of magic. Yeah. Let's see what he has for sale. Got he, yourself situated. <clears throat> he may have. I mean, that's a really good one handed wand, and it grants skill vaporize. Curious. So, what has he got? He's got some arrow third stuff, blinding radiance, right? I think we have that chain lightning. We've got chain lightning. Uh, dazing bolt, electrical bolt fall, falls from the sky, dealing 35 to 39 air damage to characters in the area and setting shocked status. Hmm. Uncanny invasion, favorable winds, control the, together, control the forces of nature, increasing the I movement speed of you and your allies by 1.5 meters, as long as you and your allies stay within 10 meters of you. You're safe among friends. It's pretty good. Never forget it. Electrical discharge. Uh, okay, so it's unlimited power. Nether swap. Make two characters switch places. One of the characters can be you. Oh, that's actually real good. My goodness. Pressure spike skill book. Condense all cloud surfaces in the area. Deals 21 to 23 air damage to enemies and douses fire. Oh, that's cool. Shocking touch. I think we got that one. Teleportation? Um, I don't have teleport. Uh, let's buy that. And of course, we're just going to give that to uh, Beast. Because I got the teleport gloves, but it'd be nice to actually just have somebody with it. Summon Hungry Flower. Plant can lob acidic spores and emit cursed poison flowers. Geomancer. Huh. Like feed me Seymour. Does that require that requires a source? So to summon fire slug. Ooh, earthquake. 34 to 38 earth damage and knock down enemy characters and items around you. Create eight random oil surfaces within the area. It's pretty good. Uh, fortify, mend metal, poison dart, poison. Actually, mend metal on Sabil would not be bad. Just as a thought. Together, poison dart, poison wave, right. as as fossil strike, so reactive armor, You're safe among physical friends. damage based on your current Never physical armor. <clears throat> in a wave of metal, wait, in a wave of metal spikes to everyone around the area, <clears throat> including yourself. So, that might be really good for um, for Red because he has a ton of physical armor. That would be a massive AOE for him. Ailment, worm, uh, yeah, worm tremor. We've got that. Peace of mind. Target gains clear minded, which increases strength, finesse, intelligence by three, which by five removes blind. Blah, 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 blah. No, okay. Uh, fire whip. Long range attack that deals a ton of fire damage to a single target, leaving them Keeping blind and free. burning. Fire balls, right. searing daggers, flaming tongues. Flaming tongues You're protect you, friends. immediately attacking approaching Never enemies. That would also be quite good for, for uh, Sybil. <clears throat> Ignition, haste, laser ray, line of intense heat that deals a ton of fire damage to characters and leaves fire clouds behind. That's great. I actually might get that. That does a lot of damage. It says in a line, right? To characters and leaves fire clouds. Huh. Spontaneous combustion, deal fire damage to a target. If the character is affected by burning or necrofire, remove those statuses and deal additional damage for each turn of duration remaining. Oh, that's amazing. Supernova, we got. 
Okay, so this is all polymorph stuff. Spider legs, skin graft, reset all cooldowns, removes burning, necrofire, poison, bleed, Ooh. deuce ahead, summon oily blob, chicken cock, chameleon cloak. Uh, wow, I'm gonna buy that. Right. Grant you the power to blend in with any environment as if invisible. Does not break invisibility or sneaking. So it's invisible for two turns. That's going to uh, Sabeel. Physical armor. Terrain transmutation. Target two circular areas, swap surfaces and clouds. Tentacle ash, spread your wings. Keeping it together, Bree. They're, they're just chatting up a storm behind me, but I'm totally okay with that because I'm so excited about all these, like, very interesting items. I'm going to keep the gloves, of course. Um, let's sell both of those. Cloth scraps, get rid of those. I got a lot of essences here. Um, I'm going to sell ruby and those. Got a strange gem. Should I just sell the strange gem? Probably. Found on the person of Alexander. Shiny and smooth as a mirror. You can see your reflection distorted in it. Because that was for the ship. Do I, do I still need that? Let's... Let's sell it. Uh, surely I don't need that anymore, right? Um... Do I want to buy any more of these spells? I think spontaneous combustion is freaking awesome. Among friends. Never forget it. Um, and maybe even laser ray. But is there anything other than nether swap that I want out of this stuff? Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. I feel like nether swap well, is really good. So we'll pick that up. I don't come visit your town, and uh, let's will. pick up spontaneous combustion. <laughs> That's, that's a lot of gold I'm spending on stuff, but I feel like it's worth it, honestly. Um, I guess I could sell that. Keeping it together, Bree. Those, okay. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. I'd probably sell those two scrolls. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. And, uh, keep the grenades for now. I haven't been using them, I know, but I think everything else is fine. Okay. I'll keep the arrows. Uh, balance that pack out. Okay. Accept. Whew. So, yep, yep. Man, that was uh, that was awesome. We got a ton of new stuff. So we're gonna go to her first. Um, auto sort. We are going to do these. So we're gonna give her this one. So spontaneous combustion, chameleon cloak, which is perfect for. That is like she always is getting attacked. If I could just set her to go invisible, what's the cooldown on that skill? It together, Six turns, but right. that's good enough for her to get away. Nether swamp. So, junk. Why I offer nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients, and so I have chain lightning on him. And I think I should remove some of these, like Shackles of Pain, I feel like I should remove in favor of some of these other ones. Like Ice Fan isn't bad, but Nether Swap would be really good in place of that, right? And Decaying Touch is super strong when used in the situations that you need it. So let's do Nether Swap for now, and we'll keep we'll keep teleportation out over here because we don't need it right now. And Nether Swap kind of helps with that. Whew, man, that was a lot of shopping. <clears throat> what else we got? We got a potion vendor. You needin' supplies? I'd stock up if I were you. It's madness out there. Never seen anything like it. Okay, browser supplies. Oh, she's got spell books too. Uh, she's got some Hydrofist stuff. Okay. So <laughs> We're looking at it. Arcane Stitch, fully restore target characters, magic armor, removes frozen, stunned, petrified, plague, suffocating, poison burning, necrofire, terrified, silence, taunted, and mad. Restores 100% of maximum. Healing Ritual, send a wave of healing to target another character. The wave travels to nearby allies, healing with each movement. Well, crap, that's real good, isn't that? Cryogenic stas stasis, target ally. 
enter stasis. Though incapacitated, they become immune to all damage and heal over time, remove shackles of pain. Man, that's good too. Got soothing cold. I've got armor of frost. Global cooling freezes things. Hail strike is a big AOE. I have ice fan and rain and restoration. Winter's blast. Nice. Man, I feel like I need to pick these up. Like, that's a great freaking spell. Black Shroud Skill Book. For create a cloud of cursed smoke in an area. I don't think I need that. Soulmate. Bind yourself to a target character, copying any healing or armor restoration you receive to them. Clears all of that stuff. Huh. Supercharger. Target totem or summon deals 100% more base damage during its next turn. Interesting. Rallying cry, conjure incarnate, elemental totem, power infusion, farsight infusion, dominate mind charm. Okay, so some of this stuff is pretty cool. I can charm people. What's this necromancer stuff? Black shrouds. No, raise blood. No, I got that. Bone cage, increase physical armor, and another physical armor for each corpse in the area around you. Oh, that's real good. That's like bone armor. Uh, Raise Bone Widow. Walking pile of bones. Which consumes corpses to restore vitality and receive a stacking damage buff. Jeez. Scary. Death Wish. Living on the edge for two turns, your character's vitality cannot be reduced below one point, keeping them alive against all odds. If the character is a summon, their lifetime will be prolonged for the duration. So this is what I was talking about. There is a resurrection. We'll see if they have it. Effect, Mosquito Swarm, no. So it's not there, but if you get, if you get this, and then the Necromancer Resurrect, which kills the Necromancer, you, you don't die, and you resurrect the person. And it gives you a chance to get some heals, but, you know, it's okay. Oh man, there's so much stuff here. Do I need healing potions? I do. Man, that's a lot of gold. Is there any way I can offset that? I can probably give this, some of these scrolls away. They're not a huge, um, a huge sale, but you know, it's something, I guess. I'll probably get rid of that. Um, I want to keep these jars. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want the potions, so let's balance that out. That leaves me on not a lot of gold. Do any of these dummies got stuff to sell? Not particularly. Okay, I don't feel like I need those anymore. Those are for the maze. I guess I could sell those too. And this. Okay. Boom. For whatever reason, she's got good attitude. I don't know. Okay. Take my leave. <sighs> Whew, all restocked. Good to go. There's a town crier. Maybe we should go see what he wants. He might have something for us. Latest news! Fresh from the war owl! Hear all about it! Alright, tell me Give about me it. the latest, my friend. The war, the bishop, the queen. What tickles your fancy? Ask him about the war. I ain't looking too good for them lizards. Word is, the divine order's gonna hit the ancient empire and hit it hard. You remember what happened to the elves, don't you? Ain't no one left standing when you treat them to death, Bog. Hmm. Say so you're interested in the fate of the bishop. Seven, save us. Stabbed in the back he was by them vile, low-born, treacherous seekers. Kill them all, I say. Do them like Magister Raymond did, old Lady Seaver. That'll teach them traitors. I mean, they doomed us all, didn't they? The son of the divine is dead. Gone. Who'll save us now? Tom, you want to hear more about the queen? Jolly Justinia, queen of the dwarves. Ha! Scourge, more like. Here's 20 or so noble gentlemen. No one knows what they did wrong, if anything, and she has them stripped and whipped all the way to the execution grounds. Didn't even give them the dignity of the sword. No, ma'am. Had them all on. Real slow like. You ask me, and I say she's mad as a mink with its tail on fire. Queen or no queen. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, ooh, we got a silent watcher over there. Storm. Thank the divine you're here to protect us. 
There's a traitor. Wars are brewing, my friend, and I'll stand by your side. Special yeah, yeah, yeah. prices for yeah, you, yeah, my friend. Yeah, I don't care. War I just, is hell, my friend, but it's very good for business. Good oh, luck to you. I should have come over here first. Here. All the good spells are over here. Blood rage. One-handed axe. Okay, so. Come visit your oh my gosh. Who will? I'm just gonna. There we go. Buying or selling? Trading. Capital. Thank you. Good okay. I just didn't want to listen to them for the next 10 minutes talk while I looked at this. What kind of rat would sell such filth? Ballistic shot. A shot that deals physical damage plus water damage receives 5% damage bonus for one distance to the target. It's all well and good for you with your rations. We've got to take what we can get. They're just talking. Keep talking, dwarf, and you lend up eating Arrow spray. Fire 15 arrows in a 60 degree arc. Each arrow deals physical damage plus water damage. Interesting. Um, first aid, barrage, got that. Marksman's Fang, shoot an arrow, go straight through enemies. Each enemy that it hits takes piercing damage, ignores armor. Reactive shot, target a circular area. Until the next turn, you will reflexively shoot at the first three enemies moving in this area. Oh, it's like Overwatch, that's cool. Um, Overwatch from XCOM. Sky shot, we got that. And tactical retreat, got that. So what about these? Battering ram, blitz attack, jump from one target to another, hitting up to two targets, dealing physical damage to each. Targets are chosen randomly in a 10 meter radius. Got that deflective barrier projectiles that hit you are reflected back at the caster. This does not prevent the original projectile effect. Hmm. Rage, well, stomp, Phoenix well, dive, right? That's like the, the, the teleport jump. It's really good. Who will? Thick of the fight, gain 10% damage bonus for every nearby character or totem, including yourself. Hmm. Um, and Whirlwind, which we got. And then there's a ton of just items here, which I'm not going to be able to afford, but is there anything that's jumping out at me? Any, like, there's a crossbow. It's okay. Um, there's a couple daggers. Some armor. Some good armor. Okay. I think I'm good. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and close and uh, I have tons of items here that need stuff, that need um, runes and whatnot. So it might be worth it for me to take a look at that. But this guy is a food trader, it looks like. So I'm just going to move on. He might have something good, but I got other stuff I got to do. Cautionary pamphlet. There's stuff about fish what does this guy want gundalo looking for work in this dying town besides you ain't got the look of a fisher about yeah i'll tell you that much thanks there's a lot of um ooh, let's save before we talk to this guy master raymond that's it the barrels and the chests on the double magister leadership in driftwood um you too, Julian. Show him how it's done, man. Magister Crusade. Don't let Many of now. Lucian's loyalists and Divine Order are not too happy with Dallas and their leader and have been getting a dessert. Hmm. That's it. The barrels and the chest. Magister Raymond is in charge double. here. We may be able to trick him into helping us. Okay, cool. Let's do that. <laughs> you too, Julian. Show him. Go on, you mute sacks of flesh. Put your backs into it. I'll not lose another day to the tide. The Lord Dread awaits. It sails billow with Dallas's breath. I'll... The Magister stops barking orders. He sniffs the air like a predator, turns to face you, the wolf eyeing the deer. <laughs> Intense fellow, this one. Keep calm and Curtis, uh, Curtis, courteously uh, bid him a good day. Or assume an air of levity and say you didn't realize you smell so bad. Look over his ship and ask him where he's going. Should we con should we be confrontational? Because he seems kind of like a big butthead. Or should we try to make light? I don't think he's going to like the lighthearted thing. I'm going to confront him. I'm going nowhere right at this moment. Nowhere since something crossed my path and oh so very sharply piqued my interest. Yeah, he's, he's a big butthead. Tell me, have you ever been strung up by the hands? Your body swinging like a bell's clapper as your bones are being broken with cast iron rods. 
Uh, I have a human thing. Sigh and state such cruelty is unworthy of a fellow human being. Sure. We do cruel things unto others and unto ourselves because we must. I don't like this guy. He licks his lips. Dry flesh turns wet. See, I'd like to string you up too. Rack you with rods and leave you dangling over a puddle of your own blood and piss. Uh, let's smirk and say you'd like to see him try. I could kill him. His sliver of a smile could rival a rattler's. I'm very good at what I do, see. I don't even need a sauce hound yapping at my side. I could, I could take him. I feel like I could. There was a whiff of something in the air when you approached. A current of filth. That is to say, sauce. Best convince me I was mistaken. I have wits persuasion. Laugh and say you finally understand, but you're not a sorcerer. You seek to become a magister. Where can you sign up? Or memory persuasion. How dare you? Or how dare he suggest such a thing? Lady Dallas didn't seem to smell a current of filth last time you dined with her in Fort Joy. I'm not going to get the, the, the strength persuasion. Oh, yeah. Memory persuasion for the win. He leans in closer and sniffs the air once more. Interesting. So I was mistaken. Must have been ambition I smelt on you, not the magic that dare not speak its name. Very well. In that case, we'll forego the gallows and turn straight to the hunt. No doubt a trusty of Dallas is champing at the bit to see some action. Seems peaceful here, doesn't it? A quiet day in a quiet town. One wouldn't think these drifting woods toss on dwarf troubled waters, but they do. Um, you're intrigued? Inquire after these dwarven troubles. Consider for a moment the dwarf. What is he? A mule? A beast of burden? But some defy that role. There are rats among them, dancing to their rat queen's tune. I've need of a rat catcher. Huh. Urge him to make his point. If you're to accept the role of a rat catcher, you need to be. You're, you'll need more concrete information. Shake your head. You say, okay. Yeah, I want him to make his point. Of course. I must depart post haste. But Julian here will stay behind and be a good little parrot. Ask and he will answer. Stay behind? But. But I've my orders. Same as you. Dallas. Ooh. <laughs> Just got knocked down. Like I said, Julian is staying. And with that, I must be off. No hard feelings about the death threats, of course. How about we part shaking hands instead of stringing them up? Um, you've decided that you don't want anything to do with this. Refuse to shake his hand. I'm curious. Can I, like, um, can I bring up my quest log? It won't let me. I can always turn my back on him later. How very heartwarming. Yeah, One I shake his thing. hand. The magisters here are diligent men and women. A stranger like you may run into troubles with them. Should this happen, just wave this piece of parchment in their eager little faces. My signature will placate them without fail, I assure you. Nice. Adieu and good luck. The Lord Dread awaits. The use of the gallows I pass on to you. The time has come. My so, chapter four, lovely. mastering the we source. Set sail. Get on board and man your stations. In Driftwood, we met uh, Raymond, a, seri a senior white magister. A senior, not a senior. <laughs> it's different. I mean, same thing, really, for him. Uh, while suspicious like of us... Uh, while so suspicious... Stop us. talking over me, guy, in the background. While suspicious of us, he asked us to work for him against local dwarven criminals. Beast, uh, Beast Confine, Lohar, and Effie's Emporium. All right, we need to do that. We need the Black Bull and Driftwood. We still need to do that for him. Okay, cool. And Hide and Seek. Recall the child killed by the shark. A boy swam out in search of Fort Joy and his mother. We found a leg in his shark belly. Um, I gotta find something for that. They shall not pass. A raised bridge stands outside Driftwood. 
The bridge keeper's son says void woken. Okay. So we've got this now. We got this rid of passage, passage rather, which is going to help us. It's going to allow us to kind of get around without being stopped, which is real nice. Especially if it's without question. The magister is rubbing the dirt off his robes. None the worse for wear, apparently, from the blast of magic that knocked him off his feet. Let's see what he's got real quick. Nothing. He ain't got nothing. You, the so-called friend of Dallas. I'd be whining and dining aboard the Lord Dread if it weren't for you. Your meddling in magister affairs had better be worth it. Tell him his superior told you to report to him. Yes, I am very much aware. It wasn't my damn head that hit the floor back there. Now answer me. Did you meet with a Magister caravan on your way into town? The hour's growing late and I'm beginning to worry something might have gone wrong. Uh, affirm that you did. By the bishop's bones, you saw it. Out with it, woman. What happened? Um, tell me you discovered the caravan was waylaid by dwarf marauders. Tell him that you came across a caravan east of town. It was destroyed by Void Woken. Tell him the place was littered with dead Magister, sorcerers, and dwarves. Describe the scene in detail. Even the dead would tremble at the despair you witnessed. Yeah. Void Woken. That means source was used. Which means some third party must have attacked first. And I have a fair idea who that might have been. Hmm. Raymond, that old goat, always suspected there's more to the Driftwood Dwarves than meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's Coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ship sinking, weapons disappearing, and as you've seen, a caravan attacked to destroy. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen herself is behind these acts of sabotage. That is what I want you to prove. Say, if you're to prove these accusations, you need to know where to start looking. There's a local thug, Loha. Oh, we gotta find he him anyways. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. I suspect this man of being a spy for his queen. It may be interesting to have a word with him. Find out what he's up to. Where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs, to the west of Driftwood. It's wild territory, remote and hostile, where I believe the dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying eyes. Should you find any such place, and better yet, proof that Lohar is working in behalf of Queen Justinia, you will be handsomely rewarded, I assure you. Hmm. I, I know enough now. In that case, go forth and let the hunt commence. So, Rise of the Dwarves. Uh, Queen Jacina's dwarves subjects intercepted a major divine order shipment. Dwarven criminals in Driftwood are working to undermine the Magisters. Looks like we got some buddies. So, you know, obviously, if Beast gets along with these people, then, you know, then he's, he and I are going to get along just fine here, I think. So we need to, what's this quest? Kids, what do they want? Anyways, I, I, I want to work with Beast here on this one and try to help his story out and also maybe manipulate the Magisters into rewarding me anyways. Hello, missus. The little boy looks at you. He picks his nose. You be careful. My daddy's a Magister. No, he's not. His daddy's a fisherman like most daddies around here. Tom, that's nothing. Your daddy is a god, probably. They stare at you in disbelief. Then they start laughing. You're weird. Ask them what they expect to see staring at the water. We're waiting for our friend. Aww. He went for a swim. He'll be back soon. No, no, he's not. He went swimming all the way to Fort Happy. Fort Joy? <laughs> that's what I said. Fort Joy. He's going to find his mum and bring her back. Ask if their friend's name it was, is, Joe. Cool. How did you know that? Mrs. have you seen our friend Joe? Tell them the truth about Joe. They have to grow up sometime. What they don't know can't hurt them. Don't tell them. Kids are resilient. Tell them the truth. I, I agree with the majority here. All right, kids, it's time you heard the truth. So here's the thing. Joe is eaten by a shark. The horror grows on their little faces. That's a horrible thing to say. I bet it wasn't Joe. I bet it was someone else's leg in that icky shark. She bursts into tears, then looks from you to her and back again, then starts crying too. Um, 
They're inconsolable. No. Oh. You leave them in tears. I I wanted to oh, I hit I hit the pat them on the head one. I wanted to to give them a hug. Ah, oh, dang it, that sucks. Ah, you you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you click on the wrong button. That sucks. What's that? Driftwood. Okay, what about that? Is that the crier, or is that something else? I think it's just the sign. Yeah, it's just a signpost. So, uh, I still gotta find other things here. What's this? This is a door. What does that sign say? What place is this? Driftwood Fishworks. Not quite what I'm looking for, but we'll go in and take a look. I don't care if we tear this place apart plank by plank. We will find him. Find who? You can't just charge in here and ransack my business. What's There's a murder on the loose, and you're thinking about your business. I'm gonna quick save. I have rights. You've no authority to storm in here like this. We have the authority of four missing magisters. Oh, that's not good. And if we suspect you are hiding their killer, we'll throw you to the damn void woken. All right, time to. Uh... Yeah. Have you yep. seen anyone leaving this place? Gonna say grey cloak, grey beard, a satchel of books under one arm. Hmm? You can't have missed him. I was just about to say time to get into a conflict, because that's exactly where it felt like I was going. Tell the magister you haven't seen anyone. Lucian's teeth. Where is that runt hiding? If you see anything suspicious, anything at all, report it immediately. Do you understand? Wonder why he's looking for this person. He's a sorcerer, dressed as a tinkerer. Our brothers started vanishing as soon as the tramp arrived in town. He fled into this stinking shed, but we'll find him again. We'll have our justice. Uh, wish the Magister well in this hunt to take your leave. The Magister's eyes flick to a nearby pile of fish, and he moves off to investigate. Okay. Three new journal updates available, my goodness.